take the interval between C and G and divide it equally to five parts you get the Persian three-quarter tone the interval between C and G is uh, 700 cents and if you divide it equally you, uh, by five you get 140 cents which is the Persian three-quarter tone and in fact it's interesting that it happens to be that way I was going to demonstrate it but on top of that it's interesting that if you double that you get 280 cents and that's exactly the Persian flat uh, minor third uh, which is also a little bit flatter than the chromatic one so it exactly is the 280 cents is exactly double the coron where the coron is both of them the three quarter tone is slightly less than three quarter tone and then the one and a half tone is also slightly less than, less than chromatic one and a half tone so that is half of that uh, in sense so I'm just gonna uh, demonstrate how the sounds come about and uh, also this is a good exercise for ear training you hear the tone and try to predict what is the three quarter tone up from that tone I have moved my fret so that I have them um, uh, so that I have 140 cents uh, increasing Listen to this and try to come up with the next three quarter tone up. Now listen to this one and produce the next one. Now listen to this one and try to create in your head the next three quarter tone up. And then the next one. And then the next one. So right here I demonstrated that if you do this five times, you get to from C to G. And of course you can continue here. And then I would have to move one more fret to get it right here. I don't have that. Okay, so one more time. Let's uh, go up one more time. five times seven times okay so let's go down actually now listen to the tone and try to come up with the three quarter tone below and if you try to remember that by you, if you think of the Mokhalif Sega as a way of remembering what three quarter tone down sounds like so you can do the same thing here now one more time Okay, now one more time. Now one more time. Now one more time. Now one more time. And one more time.
more time. Okay, so let's try it one more time. A three-quarter tone up. Again, to remember three-quarter tone up, you can think of, uh, say, char -ga. So you hear this, and then you think of the next note. You can also think of uh, the opening in F sharp. So either of them to kind of help you as a mnemonic to remember what the three chord tone up would be. So let's start. exercise you can use. I've moved my frets just for this purpose and just so that you have a continuum of three quarter tones, at least up to B flat. Alright, I hope that helps. Thanks.